By the end of this video, we'll see each level's progress when our player picks up these collectibles. And we'll see this progress on the slider on the side. We're going to implement this functionality with actions and events so we get to learn something cool and new. So let's get started. So we made our gem prefabs in the previous video. All this does right now is destroy the game object when we collect it. But the plan is to use these gems as a way to track progress through our level. When we got enough gems and filled our gauge, we'll go to the next level. So let's open up our gem script. And in here, we're going to add a public static event action and then pass in the type int. Make sure you have using system and I'll name this action on gem collect. I'm also going to add a public int worth and set this to a default of five. That way we can add different types of gems that are worth different amounts. Now in our collect function, all we'll have to do is type on gem collect dot invoke and then pass in our worth. What this does is sets up an event that other scripts can subscribe to. So when we pick up this gem, another script can handle the process of this worth. So let's write that script. Back in Unity, I'll go to our scripts folder, right click, create C sharp script and call this game controller and double click on this to open it up. In here, we'll add an int called progress amount. And in our start, I'm gonna set this to zero. So this progress amount is gonna increase whenever our gem is picked up. So let's subscribe to our gem event. So call gem dot on gem collect and go plus equals. And here we'll pass in a function. I'm gonna call this increase progress. This doesn't exist yet. Now I'm just gonna copy this name and go void increase progress amount. And in the parameters, we're gonna to wanna to pass in our int amount coming from our gem's worth. Now, pretty simple. We're gonna go progress amount plus equals amount. This is red and underlined because we don't need the brackets on the end. Just increase progress amount. Okay, so now we're going to say if our progress amount is greater than or equal to 100, then our level is complete. This is where we'll add the functionality to move to the next level. But for now, I'm just going to debug.log level complete. Cool. Cool. So now we're going to do it backwards and add the code in for our Unity slider. So if you type slider up in our variables and hover over, you can import using unityengine.ui. Then add public. So we want a public slider and we'll call this progress slider. In our start, we'll make sure our progress sliders value is set to zero. And then every time our progress amount goes up, we're going to set our progress sliders dot value to equal our progress amount. That's all the code we'll need. So let's go back and set this up in Unity. So back in Unity, right click in the hierarchy and go create empty. And I'll name this game controller. And then I'm going to drag in our game controller script into our object. Now we have an empty slot for our progress slider. So let's add this. Right click in the hierarchy and go UI slider. I'm going to name the slider progress bar and I'm going to rename the canvas that appeared alongside it UI. Then I'm going to set the canvas scalar to be scale with screen size and I'm going to match this to my screen size. So mine's 1920 to 1080. Double click on UI in the hierarchy to zoom out and see it properly in the scene and click on our slider and we can move this around with the move tool. I'm going to change our scale to X to be five and Y to be free. I'm going to untick interactable and scroll down to where it says direction. I'm going to do this from bottom to top. Move this up again. I'm going to set our max value to be 100. Same as how many I need for the level to change. Then in the hierarchy, you can open up the progress bar tree. And if you have the value of the slider, then go to fill area, open this up click on fill. We can change the color of the progress bars fill. I'm just going to match this to my gem. By default, the top and bottom are set to minus five and minus five. If you set these to zero, then go to background, set these to zero, and go to fill area and set these also to zero. You won't have any weird padding around the sides. Then I'm going to open up handle slide area, click on handle, and you can change this circle to be whatever you like. I'm going to make it one of our gems. Also, this is transparent because by default, when the slider is disabled, it sets it to half transparent. So if you go back to the progress bar, click on disabled color, and then up the A alpha and close this. And I'm actually going to change the background color to be half transparent instead. Cool. Now select our game controller, drag in our progress bar, and we're all set up. When we press play and pick up our gems, you can see the progress bar going up. But at this rate, we won't be able to complete our level since our gem are only worth five. So if we select one of our gem prefabs, I'm going to rename this one big gem and go to our gem script on this gem. Here we can set the worth of a big gem to something like 20. I'm going to scale it up a bit, setting it to two by two on the X and Y. Now select another gem and we'll call this small gem. I'm going to set the size to be 0 0.75 by 0 0.75. I'm going to set the worth to be 10. I'm going to right click in our main assets folder, create a new folder and call it prefabs. I'll drag in our player and go inside and I'm going to select our big gem and drag it over to our prefabs folder. I'm going to make this an original prefab and I'm going to drag our small gem over and I'm going to make this an original prefab. Cool. I'm going to delete our normal gems and delete the normal gem prefab that we just have big and small ones now. Now back at our scene, I'm going to drag a few gems over. Cool. So now when we press play, I'll pick up some gems. You can see it's going on much faster now. And when we hit 100, you can see in our console level complete. In an upcoming video, once our slider has reached the top, we'll be able to hold down a button and load our next level. But for now, that's it. See you then. Bye.